Hey everyone, this is Carl Brown, and uh, for our first beginner lesson, I thought it would be good to actually explain how you hold a guitar and hold a pick. So um, this is not going to be a lesson that there's going to be printed materials to download. It's just uh, me sitting here trying to show you kind of how I sit with it and how I think is the best, most economical way to sit with a guitar. First thing you want to think about is um, what kind of guitar you're going to have. If you have an acoustic guitar or if you have an electric guitar, uh, they're going to be held quite differently. Um, so right here I have an electric guitar, obviously. This is a Fender Strat. And I'll just kind of show you the elements of how it's kind of made to kind of sit on your lap. And most guitars have most of these features, so you'll have to uh, kind of make do. If you're left-handed, it's going to be the opposite or whatever. But um, if you want to look here, we have a little curve down here. Now that is routinely, if you're a right-handed guitar player, or you play a right-handed guitar at least, you place that on your right leg, okay? Now you want that right leg to be, try to get it at like a 90 degree angle, so it's flat surface. If it's angled down, your guitar can slip down and, and everything, so I like to prop my leg up. I usually use my other foot on my left foot and just kind of put my other, my right foot on top of it. And it allows me to have a very flat surface to lay the guitar on. And this guitar is pretty well balanced. Um, most Fender Strats are. And, and uh, it's, um, so I can just put it as, you know, without having anything, it just stays on my leg. Um, we also have um, this carve out right here, and a lot of them will have this as well. This is where your, your forearm would come across. So you want to make sure your arm is laying across there, and it's coming down at a 45 degree angle. You don't want your arm completely, you know, horizontal, uh, parallel or whatever with um, the guitar strings. And you don't want it up like this. You don't. You, you want your shoulders relaxed and your arm just to kind of, the middle of your forearm just kind of make contact to the, mm -hmm. the this little upper edge and then just come down across at like a 45 degree angle and um, right over the little middle pickup. And, and if you're on a, an acoustic guitar, the pick will kind of come down. You still have the same angle. You won't have the carve out, but you still place your arm there and you're, it'll come down about where the sound hole starts on most acoustic guitars. Um, and for the neck, you want the neck to be, see how oh, my neck kind of goes up a little bit. If it's going downwards or anything, it makes everything more difficult to reach and, and play. So um, you want to keep your guitar neck pretty level or maybe slightly pointing upwards a little bit. Um, another thing you want to think about is, you see how the guitar is kind of leaning into me a little bit. It's not straight. It's slightly, it's not really leaning back, but it's, it's slightly leaning back on me. Um, that is what's going to give you kind of this, like that kind of balance thing. And there's a, most guitars have it carved out in the back for your chest as well. So um, I'm going to switch to another shot and show you how to hold a pick. Okay, so here we have kind of what is a, a standard shape that is used a lot. Um, I actually use a, a, a small, like, jazz shape pick uh, that's really sharp. But this is probably the most commonly used shape of all, that all guitar players use. I think it's called a 357 or a 257 shape, I'm not exactly sure. But it comes in many different thicknesses and textures, and some of them are sharp, some of them are smooth and round or, or whatever. But regardless, we could kind of approach to holding them all the same way. So whatever pick you're using, I recommend uh, getting a lot of picks um, and just experimenting in the beginning. You just go buy one of each and, and um, find something you like, because they all feel a lot different, you know, because of how rounded they are. There's many different materials that are made out of, the thicknesses. I will say about how thick you want the pick to be is, you know, the thicker the pick is, the more control you're going to have in the long run, even though it is a little bit harder to control in the beginning. So I would recommend at least start with like a medium heavy, maybe medium to a medium heavy. And most really uh, advanced players use heavier picks. I mean, um, some may use medium heavy, but it's, it's usually a massive majority of them use heavy to extra heavy because you really get um, a lot of control. But let's talk about how to hold this. I would say in the beginning, take your, your, your fretting hand and come and just hold it between your, your, your thumb and your first finger. So you can take your picking hand. Now take your thumb and go completely across it. Okay, straight across to the edge, to the edge of the pick. To the, with the edge of the thumb. And then on this right edge, this right corner right here, come around the back with your first finger. It's going to be on the side of your first finger. 
which is a little bit uh, stronger part of your finger, come along the back, just like this, at an angle. And you'll notice that they'll kind of both be at the, at the same distance to the end of the pick. I really choke up on my picks. And um, the more you choke up on the more control you're going to get. So you can see right there, the thumb is basically almost completely straight across. And this pick, the finger comes back. And they end up being the same distance from the end of the pick. And we have uh, a nice firm shape that you want to hold. Not too, re really stiff, but strong enough to get, keep it in your hand without creating a lot of tension in your hand. And then the other fingers in your hand just stay as relaxed as you can get them. Okay? So have fun with this, and uh, we'll see you in the next lesson with some actual guitar playing.